Did you see these images with some hidden message or patterns in them like these ones? Let me show you how to create one and I will share a ready to use template workflow so you can generate one easily. This workflow become popular first with QR codes. If you have seen this type of custom QR code images, it's a similar workflow to that. There is a ready to use hugging face space for this workflow. I wasn't able to use it because of the high demand but you can try it from the link down below to see maybe it will work for you or you can copy the space to run it on your own first we need our base patterns if you want you can also use a qr code but i will just quickly create a pattern from canva i want to have three images next to each other like this so i will create a canvas in these sizes then play with patterns hatches tags and even portrait images once it is ready let's start to create our workflow i will use stable diffusion with confi ui if you are familiar with grasshopper or any other visual programming environments it's a really similar interface to that i prefer confi ui compared to automatic 1111 because you can create super flexible custom workflows combine different methods and actually learn better how things are working automatic 1111 is great but you don't understand what is going on what are the steps to the image generation with stable diffusion i will create a series of videos about confi ui soon let me know if you're interested in that please UI has just one step installation process you need to click to this link to download it and install all the necessary files once it's done just click to this run nvidia gpu to start it when you open it for the first time you will find an empty canvas like this let's start to place the necessary nodes one by one first we need to load the checkpoint we want to use so double click the canvas and type checkpoint loader and click this option from this menu we can choose which checkpoint model we want to use now we need a place to put Put our prompts i will type clip text encode and choose the first option and we'll connect the clip here this will be our positive prompt and i do the same thing for the negative one as well now we need the main node for the generation which is the k sampler and i will simply connect the model positive and negative prompts to here lastly we need the random noise to start the generation which we will use empty latent image to generate it to be able to view the image we need to connect this latent to a component called vae decoder and lastly attach it to the save image node this is the basic workflow for the text to image generation the beauty of confi ui comes after this because you can add lots of different nodes of scalers and custom nodes to create your own unique workflow for the project you are working on i don't want to go more in depth on confi ui because i will do that in the future series for now you can use the image i attached in the video description to copy all of the settings nodes prompts to your canvas and directly use it to do that, we need one extension called Confi UI Manager to be able to download custom nodes easily inside the Confi UI window and the QR code Monster Control Net model. You can download this Control Net model from Hugging Face and place it under Models and Control Net folder. If you already use Automatic 1111 and want to use the same models control nets inside Confi UI, find this extra model files, open it with any notepad, and then add your Automatic 1111 file to this section after you save it you will be able to use all of your models from automatic 1111 in confi ui as well for the confi ui manager open the github link in the description and copy this link from here now open your confi ui folder go to the custom notes click to this area and type cmd and hit enter then in this terminal window we need to type git clone and then paste the url we just copy it and enter it will install automatically and when it is done you can can close the terminal and restart the confi ui after you open it again just hold the image i shared and drop it to your canvas and you will get the exact the same workflow with the settings you may see some red nodes because of missing custom nodes click to this manager tab and say install missing custom nodes it will automatically download all the missing nodes and now we can start to generate images i can hear you saying finally but you only need to do this once later you can copy any workflow to your canvas the other benefit of this user interface is for me it's almost two times faster than automatic 1111 and it uses less vram i can't easily generate images with the new stable diffusion x large model on automatic 1111 but with confi ui it is totally good now you can upload 
your base image in this node. Let's add this first and we can type our prompt here. With this controller settings here, you can adjust the effect of the base pattern to the final image. I find that I like the results between 0.5 and 0.9 let's say and start from 0.15 till 0.9. This means the base image will start affecting the generation from 15% of the generation and will end at 90%. Of course you can play with these settings and see how you like it better. I first tried it with this one from Ugle for the medieval town with the realistic vision 5.1 model. Here are some of the results and all of them together. It turned out really cool. I think one trick is you need some elements in your prompts to be able to build the pattern properly throughout the whole image. For example, it will be really challenging to add something here other than clouds or maybe some tree branches. So keep that in mind when you're adding your prompt. Later I created another set of images but for something more modern this time like this. And I attached an image upscaler at the end of the workflow. So if you like an image, you can upscale it with this component automatically. It can take some time because it will generate the whole image tile by tile. Here is the comparison between the normal and the upscale version of the same image. After I finished all of them, here are the final images. You can find all the tools, extensions and the images for the workflow in the link in the video description. Let me know what you think about this workflow and if you're interested in a more detailed tutorial about Confu AI. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching till now and see you in the next one.